The world had already been going to hell. The constant shouting and fighting between the liberals and conservatives turned into clashes, riots, and dissension among the people, ripping apart the very fabric of our country. The media seized upon it and propagated aspersion to politicize their own political agendas. The politicians rested and orchestrated from their gated communities, planning disinformation to further civil unrest. We are supposed to look to our leaders for guidance, not this. Not this constant bickering, crying, and lying to line their pockets with riches while the poor go to bed hungry. It is our leaders' responsibility to create peace, to foster growth, and to allow freedom to reign. We are divided, and divided we fall. They brainwashed us into believing we are not worthy of where we stand while they stand high above us and pull our strings because we are nothing more than puppets. And now this. I was recruited and brainwashed into believing the media's lies. I became part of the problem, part of an organization that would liberate and already free people. It is the poor who are always the casualties. We are the sheep being led to the slaughter while the rich plan our deaths and sit back and dine on fine wine and enjoy the luxuries that the poor work so hard for just to make it through. Just to survive. At home, where are you? I must have just missed you. You'll have to tell me all about your trip over dinner. Speaking of which, I was on my way to go pick up some Chinese takeout. I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah, Chinese sounds good, actually. Can you get me some uh, pork fried rice with some hot sauce, uh, please? All right, but I guess that means you're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> well, I guess you won't be getting any long dong pow for dessert then. You too, darling. Yeah, nah, I can't get into the bedroom again. I thought Tony's puss could not hear him fix that door. He showed up just as we were leaving. He said he was going to replace the lock, so I assumed he's still around. Maybe he ran back to his office to grab something. Anyways, let me let you go. I just wanted to get your order so I can get back home before the storm hits. Alright, now, before you go, uh, I get a huge headache. Uh, do you remember where we put the aspirin at? They should be in the box, on top of the microwave. Alright, cool. Alright, you take it easy, darling. I'll, I'll see you soon. Love you. I love you too.
Hey, hon, what's up? Honey, listen. Listen to me. There's, there's been an accident what? and... An accident? Are you both all right? We... We're fine. It, it's just... We were pulling into the parking lot of the restaurant while the police were trying to subdue this man. And he was biting at them like... What? Like some kind of animal. Oh my god! They shot him! He's still attacking them! All right, well just come home. Forget about the Chinese food. Just come home, okay? anything. Yeah, I think I need to collect a few things. I think we'll lay low at my dad's house for a couple of weeks. Downstairs, I think we may be in some trouble. I can't make it back. They have the rope locked off. What the hell is going on? What? You can't get in? Oh my god. Yes, they are redirecting everyone back to the main roads. Said something about a quarantine? Quarantine? Hang on. I'm going to get the, the gun in the room. I'll meet you at your mother's house. Wait, I can't get into the room. I love you guys so much! We love you too! Hurry! Alright, I got the key. I'm gonna go get that gun. Oh shit. You? Don't get any closer, man. Thank you. 
to keep my wife. Oh, God. I'm out of ammo. 